Way Home or Face the Fire by Ja, the survival plan for all human plus beings. Chapter 4, The First Test in Regression to Following Satan In that day the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet and their headdresses and their crescents, the chains and the bracelets and the mufflers, the bonnets, the ornaments of the legs and the headbands and the houses of the soul and the earrings the rings, the nose jewels, the changeable suits of clothing, and the mantles, and the wimples, and the curling devices, the glasses, and the fine linen, and the hoods, and the veils. And it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell there shall be stink, and instead of a girdle a tear, instead of well-set hair baldness, and instead of stomacher a girdle of sackcloth, and burning instead of beauty. Women persuade men to do evil for them, for sex, which can mean cheating on or leaving their wives and families, killing, stealing, fighting, or working themselves to death, just to buy worldly and, therefore, temporary treasures for them. To quote the picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde, referring to women as, spoken by a friend of Dorian, they have got it, we want it, and people are making millions in between. Revelation 18.3.20 for all nations have drunk of the wine of wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that you take not part in her sins, and that you receive not her plagues, punishment. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works in a cup which she hath filled fill her double how much she has glorified herself and lived deliciously so much torment and sorrow give her for she saith in her heart i sit a queen i am no widow i shall see no sorrow therefore shall her plagues come in one day death and mourning and famine and she shall be utterly burned with fire for strong is the lord god who judgeth her and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewile her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning standing afar off from the fear of her torment saying alas alas the great city new babylon rome that mighty city, for in one hour is your judgment come, and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth her merchandise any more. The merchandise of gold and silver, and precious stones, and pearls, and fine linen, and purple, and silk, and scarlet, and all thine wood, and all manner of vessels of ivory, and all manner of vessels of most precious wood, and of brass, and iron, and marble, and cinnamon, and odors, and ointments, and frankincense, and wine, and oil, and fine flour, and wheat, and beasts, and sheep, and horses, and chariots, and slaves, and souls of men, and the fruits of thy soul lusted after are departed from thee, and all things which were dainty and goodly are departed from thee, and you shall find them no more at all. The merchants of these things which were made rich by her shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment, weeping and wailing, and saying, Alas, alas, the great city, Rome, that was clothed in fine linen, and purple, and scarlet, and decked with gold, and precious stones, and pearls. For in one hour so great riches is come to naught, for every shipmaster, and all the company, and the ships, and sailors, and as many as trade by the sea, stood afar off, and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city like unto the great city? And they cast dust on their heads, and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, the great city wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea, by reason of her costliness, for in one hour she made desolate. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for God has avenged you on her. Instead of doing these evil things, man should be learning to be like Jesus, and doing God's will, and should be working for God, 
by fighting against evil wherever and whenever he finds it for the benefit of all mankind and at the same time he will be setting a good example for others to follow especially his children matthew ten thirty seven to thirty eight and surah nine twenty three to twenty four matthew ten thirty seven to thirty eight he that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me and he that loveth son or daughter or any one or anything more than me is not worthy of me and he that taketh not his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me surah nine twenty three twenty four o you who believe take not for protectors your dads and your brothers if they love infidelity above faith if any of you do so they do wrong say if it be that your dads, your sons, your brothers, your mates, your kindred, the wealth that you have gained, the commerce in which you fear a decline, or the dwellings in which you delight, are dearer to you than I am, or his messengers, or the striving in his cause, then wait until the I am brings about his decision, and the I am guides, not the rebellious. His wife's place is to take care of the children, and to feed him and keep his clothes and house clean, and to give him moral support to keep him going, so that he can earn his right to go home. If she does this, she is also going forward towards becoming a perfect lady, wife and mother, eventually earning the right to be a man. Behind every great man there is a relatively good woman. Man must learn not to break the commandments, and then to use his superiority of strength, both mental and physical, gently, along with his better understanding of spiritual love, to persuade women not to break the commandments either. If not, the world will continue to go backwards, until God has no alternative except to destroy all the evil souls. Don't fool yourselves into thinking that you are good. You are not. Isaiah 64, 6-7 but we are all as unclean thing, and all our righteousness are like filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. And there is none that calleth upon thy name, that stirreth up himself to take hold of you. For you have hidden your face from us, and have consumed us because of our iniquities. If you were good, you would not be here. You would already have gone home, God does not keep good people in prison. It is impossible for man to do what he should do until he learns to worship pure love, God, instead of sex, one of the devil's weapons, and to know the difference between the two. Jesus gave his love to the world instead of to a woman, pure and unselfish spiritual love as opposed to selfish animal emotion, and voluntarily made himself into a eunuch metaphorically matthew nine twelve the third type but when jesus heard that he said unto them they that be whole need not a physician but they are sick and voluntarily made himself into a eunuch metaphorically the third type for god and the world's sake the other reason that he was alone was because loving women in a personal relationship would have created a conflict of interest and it would have interfered with his mission a good soldier always puts his mission first even above and before his own life a man has to do what a man has to do a wife or mother will try to stop a man from doing what he has to do using her husband's or son's love for her as a lever to try to stop him from doing anything that might endanger his life or her selfish material comfort and happiness it would have been and was the same for jesus and his mission was so difficult that he could not allow a woman to get in the way of his being crucified also it would not have been fair on any woman so jesus chose to be alone demonstrating total unselfishness in choosing to hurt himself by being alone rather than hurting someone else who loved him self-crucifixion therefore during his mission jesus separated himself from the female members of his family as much as possible god has always used man to do his work and to be his messenger prophets and all of jesus disciples were men god created man not woman in his own image why satan has always used women to do his work starting with eve trying to stop god's plan by trying to persuade men not to do what is right by using man's love for woman against man first timothy's two fourteen 
And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Man was told by God from the beginning, Genesis 3, 16-17, that woman was not and could never be his equal. And God has reminded man repeatedly ever since. Genesis 3, 16-17 Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conceptions. In sorrow you shall bring forth children, and thy desire shall be subject to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And unto Adam he said, Because you have hearkened unto the voice of your wife, and have eaten of the tree which I commanded you, saying, You shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for your sake. In sorrow shall you eat of it all the days of your life. Enoch 96, 12-13 I have sworn to you, you sinners, that neither mountain nor hill has been or should be a servant to the woman. Genesis 3.16-17 Woman's Liberation Condemned Neither in this way was your crime to be sent down upon the earth, first commandment, but men of their own heads have invented it, and greatly shall those who give it, woman's liberation, efficiency, be cursed.